What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to Honest Diecast. I'm back on the eve of Christmas Eve, if that makes any sense. Uh, I got two more mail calls. I got one from my good friend Nas, Nostalgic, aka Shelby Street Diecast. Uh, big box. I know what most of the stuff is in it, but man, it is, it's a big box. So yeah, I don't know if he threw any extra in, but we'll find out what he sent us. And then one from this one guy named Mark at Dotson Man, or is it, it might be Dotson Man? Is it Dotson Man? Dotson Man Diecast, I think. I think that's his name. Uh, so yeah, got a package from uh, my bestie. I have no idea what it is. I wasn't even expecting anything from him, so we'll see what it is. Uh, but first, we'll start off with Nas's package, the big boy. So my good friend Nas sent me that big old box. This big box is down here that I'm still opening right now uh he went ahead and double boxed it which is great thank you buddy i appreciate the extra steps taken to protect everything in here very very kind of you uh super excited for a lot of the stuff in here again i know what most of it is you know but who knows Nas is a sneaky guy and he might have thrown some extra stuff in so we'll see what he decided to do here all right, so I got the contents unboxed. Friggin' awesome. Nazi did a spectacular job packing this all together, man, and I really appreciate it. Uh, so the first thing is a Nostalgic Custom. It's a chromed Mercury Cougar in a Super Treasure Hunt card. How about that? Wow. Gorgeous job. Bring them beautifully polished. Looks really good with the polished base too. It's just polish on polish on polish and polished on black. I like it. Looks great, buddy. This is gonna go next to um, that orange one you did. God, I can't remember the car that you did. <laughs> but it's gonna go right next to that one in the case along with your white bone shaker that you sent me. So thank you very much, sir. I appreciate that greatly. Friggin' awesome. And next up, it looks like we might have a few more customs here. Got a couple of these little boxes thrown in here. So let's see what is in them. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I like that too. Let's open this up. This is sweet. Nas, these little customs stickers of yours are really, really cool. I like the idea. That is freaking awesome. I'm going to keep every extra one that you threw in for me. <laughs> so sweet. This is like pretty much, this is almost the same orange as the one that he sent me. Which I'm trying to remember the car, the style of the car. It's a older domestic car. But wow, look at this 356. That is amazing. It looks really good with the smaller the smaller wheels too that really dumps it on the ground. I really like that. And I love that orange color. That orange color is sick, man. Thank you so much. That's beautiful. That's going to go in the case too. Believe that. Now let's pull out this bad boy. This thing looks gorgeous even in the bag. Another nostalgic custom sticker. Wow, look at that. It's like a blood burgundy color. It's friggin' nice, man. That finish is great. Check that out. It's beautiful 993 GT2. It's like a blood burgundy color. And it is shiny. It is beyond shiny. It's like mirror, mirror shine finish. That's great, man. The wheels look good. Everything looks good on this, man. Thank you so much. So that one's going to go in this case, which is all Porsches, custom and non-custom. So <laughs> thank you, man. Appreciate it. And we have another box here. 
which will probably be some more customs it looks like. Oop, got that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Ooh, nice. Ooh, nice. Ooh, nice. Let's do this one first. Wow, look at the color of this. This is like an ultra dark, maybe maroon or root beer colored 510. Check out the wheels too. That is awesome. Got some Dunlop tires. These red meshed wheels. Nas, the axles on these are super fitted, which is awesome, man. They are nice and tight. Got yeah, like a maroon burgundy colored car that is like mirrored finish. That is beautiful, man. Thank you. And it looks like the last one of the customs, this thing. Wow, look at that color, that green. That is beautiful. It's like a metallic green. GT3 RS, of course. It is a premium one. Well done, Nas. Got the metal base. Man, this thing is nice. This is beautiful, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for these customs, man. Can't beat that. Three Porsches and a Datsun. Whew. Beautiful. All right, so let's get on to these other things. Uh, this is kind of what I was... Uh, this is kind of what I knew was coming. Um, so for those who hadn't watched Nas's episode, I'll leave a link for it. Uh, his factory sealed unboxing he was kind enough to pretty much uh to pretty much give me every factory sealed car because uh, i'm a really big fan of factory sealed cars and uh, he was kind enough to give me first dibs at all of the cars that i wanted out of that specific factory sealed box set that he had um, in exchange i'm sending him some ones that he wants back that he can open um and then he just he threw in a whole bunch that i'm pretty sure he threw in some extras that uh he thought i would like so i naz i appreciate it man i appreciate it a lot the factory sealed thing means a lot to me i'm just i'm one of those collectors that likes that stuff so <laughs> so thank you buddy so first up factory sealed the ken and mary skyline Yellow one, factory sealed. Friggin' sweet. And next one up. This one I definitely wanted for sure. Factory sealed C8R. Friggin' awesome. Love the C8R. It's a really awesome GT car. It puts up a really tough competition to my Porsches, which is, which is sad, but I have all the respect for it in the world. So I love that car. All right, so he was kind enough to pack a lot of a lot of the cards in these uh, sleeves that they came in, which is great. He likes to use the peanuts. Oh wow, that's cool! Wasn't expecting that. All right, so let's empty this first sleeve here. Awesome. All right, so there's definitely some extras in here I wasn't expecting. <laughs> Thanks, Nas, I appreciate you. All right, so wasn't expecting one of these, one of the GameStop exclusive 914 Safaris. Very nice in that blue. Very, very nice, thank you, my friend. And we have a Red Edition C8R. Probably my first or second favorite red edition for the year. It's pretty much tied with the Koenigsegg Jesko, the Jesko, however, however you prefer to say it. And the Love Beetle, how about that? Not only that, but we have the Zamac as well. And I got a special home for these two. Special friend, I'm gonna send those to. 
I think he will like them. I hope he does. And Nas decided to throw in for extra measure this V-Dub Beetle, which I've never seen in my life. Pretty cool. Very, very nice. Then I don't remember asking for this, but thank you, Nas, for throwing this in. I appreciate it, buddy. It is the J Case regular treasure hunt factory sealed. The Chrysler Pacifica. Very nice. And it's speaking of Jesco's. We got the white factory seal Jesco. Yes, please. Thank you, sir. Alrighty, second sleeve. Two hours later. So I finally got those out. <laughs> it's tricky, man. It's tricky getting them out of those sleeves. So we got the mainline Copo Camaro. Factory sealed. This is a sweet treasure hunt to have factory sealed. The Mazda Miata. K Case regular treasure hunt. Factory sealed. Very nice. I like it. And we have the K Case Civic Type R factory sealed. Very nice to have that. The S13 Sylvia factory sealed. Very nice. The R35 GDI factory sealed. Probably going to be sending this off this one off to somebody who has an R35 in real life um, and kind of likes collecting them. I forgot his name, but yeah, we'll we'll send that to him. And then the main the main line I can factory sealed friggin nice yes please the Zamax CRX factory sealed oh yeah the 300 ZX factory sealed Zamax the M3 GT2 the E92 M3 Zamac factory sealed. Yes, please. The Chevy Silverado Zamac factory sealed. Very nice. And the 2017 Ford GT Zamac factory sealed. How about that? Very nice. Alrighty, slide number three. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, got some goodies, some good facts, some good factory sealed stuff. I'm super excited to have this stuff again. Thanks, Nas. Really appreciate it. So first up, the MK's regular treasure hunt, which is one of the best for this past year for sure. The Little Red Express, MK's factory treasure hunt. This is one I really wanted factory sealed as well. The EK hatch factory sealed. How about that? Peg warmer to many, but not to me. This is one of my favorite castings. The XESV project eight Jaguar factory sealed. Friggin' sweet. I think that's my only factory sealed XESV Project 8. And then we have the white Mark V Supra factory sealed. How sweet is that? The McLaren Speedtail factory sealed. The Ollie Rocket Treasure Hunt factory sealed. The Bentley Continental GT3 factory sealed, which is friggin' awesome. I love this casting. Absolutely love that casting. You guys know me, anything GT, anything hill climb, anything like that, I'm all over it. 
the mainline R8 Spider factory sealed. The Mercury Cougar L case mainline factory sealed. The 356 Outlaw factory sealed. Very nice. Super stoked to have this one. The Liberty Walks Huracan factory sealed. Sick. And probably the best factory seal, the most important one to me <laughs> for the for the main lines for sure. 993 GT2 factory sealed. That will be taking the place of this main line right here on the wall. I will be putting that factory sealed one in there for sure, 100%. All right. Got some goodies here and protectors. Super excited for these, Nas. Thank you so much for giving me a shot to have first dibs at these because I love factory sealed stuff. It really means a lot to me to have these in my collection. So I sent Nas a, a couple of things out of this to replace to him uh, so that he can open it because a lot, most of the stuff I send back to him, he wants to open. Uh, most of the stuff he didn't really, um, he didn't really want too much, uh, but he wanted some of them back because he wants to open them. So he was kind enough to give me a shot at getting these before, because uh, obviously I want to keep them carded. So thank you, Nas. I appreciate you so much, buddy. Appreciate you. So let's get off to the finale right here. So you know I had to ask him for this one. <laughs> and thanks, Nas. I appreciate it. The L case Tycan ID factory seal. This is my first since it's the first one I grabbed, this is my first factory sealed ID chase, which means a lot to me to have. So thank you, buddy. And then following that up, the Copo Camaro ID factory sealed. Boom, right there. Friggin' awesome to have. Thank you so much. And then uh, of course I went through the supers and uh, he asked me which ones I wanted and I picked all of them and probably the most surprising one uh, the, the one that may surprise you the most that I didn't pick was the 356, not because I had a bad card, um, but just because I found so many of them, it really, I really didn't have to have that one. So I left that one to Nas. I think he opened it. I'm pretty sure he did. It was the perfect one to open because the card was busted, which is sad because it's like the only card busted. <laughs> but yeah, I got the Mercury, the Mercury Cougar factory sealed super off of them. He did not want that one in return. I think he found a couple of them. Um, same with this one. The Audi R8 Spider Super factory sealed, which is friggin' sweet. And then this was the one I wanted the most out of that box. One of the most, and thank you, Nas. This is one I sent back to him for sure. The Civic Type R K Case 2021 Civic Type R factory sealed. Friggin' sweet. Thank you so much, buddy, and thank you for putting putting all the all the significant stuff in protectors, man. I appreciate it. You did a fabulous job packing this up. He was asking me, hey man, what's the best way to send these things? And I just kind of told him, well, you could probably use those sleeves or just, you know, stack them three by three and yeah, he did a great job. So thank you, Nas. I appreciate you. I appreciate you for, for all of this. All this means a lot to me. Um, again, factory sealed stuff is a really big deal. And thank you again for giving me the first shot at this stuff. I appreciate it. All right. Well, here's what it's been like. Again, still no progress whatsoever. This is absolutely terrible. It's sad. It's very sad. Mm, nothing. Nothing here. Man, nothing's looking good right now. Nothing at all. And yeah, I'm not even walking in there. It's just hyper holler set. Ugh, 
Man, this sucks. Alrighty, epic mail call from Nas. Thanks again for giving me a first shot at those factory sealed cars. It really means a lot to me to to be able to get some of those in my collection. It's just, it's one of those things that I like. <laughs> I like factory sealed stuff. So thank you, Nas. Uh, your package should be getting there early next week. So um, hopefully you enjoy. So let's get on to this box that I have no idea what is what is in here. This is from Mark, that's a man diecast, my best friend. So let's see what's in the box. First up, haha, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. Nice, he sent me, I expressed interest in this. I was like, wow, that's really cool. I guess he might've got a couple of these, but this is really neat. So Matchbox truck from 1994. With the Seattle Seahawks logo. Yes, I am a Seahawks fan. Hopefully you don't unsubscribe because of that, but whatever, <laughs> if you do. Again, I'm born and raised in Washington State, so hearts always with the Seahawks and the Mariners and... Oh, dude. Dude, this is so cool. I gotta save that to last. All right, we got a shirt. Look at that. This was our old car team up in Washington that I used to be in. <clears throat> and he sent me one of the old shirts. This might be actually one of the newer shirts. I don't remember it looking quite like this, but yeah, this was our old car team back up in Washington. Mark's still a member of the team. Of course I'm not, cause I'm, I'm not there anymore. And I don't have any cars cool enough to be in the team, but that's very cool. Thank you, buddy. appreciate it. Now, the, this is really cool, Mark. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you, and it means a lot to have a couple of these Dotsons in my collection that I I don't have, and more importantly, this <laughs> this protector is super cool, how it, how it holds four cards like this. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and op we'll open this. We'll be like David from Twice Diecast and open it. Wow, that's cool. That's one of the coolest protectors I've ever seen. All right, so it looks like we have a treasure hunt. To be honest with you, I don't know what year this is from, but it's cool nonetheless. Uh, the Super Tsunami. And it looks like a Toyota Supra, to be honest. That's really, really neat. And it does have, does not have rubber tires. But the wheels look really cool. The, the wheels look very realistic and very, very cool. That's a really cool casting. I like that. Sweet. Thanks, Mark. And then the 510s. This is really cool to me. So the first one, I'll show you the first one because I do have one or two of these, I think. This is the Kmart exclusive Datsun 510. By far one of my favorite, favorite 510s of all time absolutely love this thing and now that mark sent me one it's on a really good card too thank you bud um i'll probably open one of mine and do something i've always wanted to do which is wheel swap on and maybe base swap um and then this one is really cool i i don't have one of these in my collection which is nice i love it this number 32 Funny story, I was trying to uh, base swap and detail one of these from my good friend Clint. Um, he collects anything with the number 32 on, he collects. And uh, I ruined it. <laughs> I was trying to uh, I was trying to carve the fenders out because I wanted to lower it. And um, die grinder got away from me and buzzed it all the way down the side. Totally ruined it. So I still feel bad about it to this day. <laughs> Sorry, Clint. <laughs> And then another 510 I don't have in my collection, and this is one of Mark's favorites. I know that for sure. This was the one that started it all. The 510 Mania. This was the first mainline in the Datsun 510, the 102, the blue 102. Friggin' awesome, man. Thank you so much for giving me one of these. I know it's never easy to give up your favorite car, so I appreciate it. But yeah, that's really awesome. That protector's awesome. I love it, buddy. Thank you so much. And uh, you have a package coming your way as well. You should get yours, I think, on Monday after Christmas.
So thank you guys for tuning in to another unboxing episode. Hope, hopefully you guys enjoy these. Uh, big shout out to, to Nostalgic, aka Shelby Street Diecast. Thank you again for giving me dibs on this factory sealed stuff. It means the world to me, so thank you very much. Uh, hopefully you enjoy everything in your package. It's not nearly as big, but I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> and uh, to my bestie Mark, thank you so much, buddy. Um, I really appreciate these Dotsons. You know, there's a couple of Dotsons here that I don't have in my collection. That means a lot. Um, I love everything that you sent me, so thank you, bud. I appreciate it, and hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys like what I send up to you as well. And Nas, thank you so much for these incredible customs, man. I absolutely love them. I can't wait to toss them in the case, especially the two, the three Porsches. <laughs> They're all going in this Porsche case. Uh, so I appreciate it very much. Um, love you guys. You guys are my brothers. I appreciate it. So with that being said, from my family to yours, we wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This will probably be the final episode before Christmas, <laughs> being that tomorrow is Christmas Eve. So hopefully you guys enjoy. You guys have some content to watch if you have some downtime over the holidays. Um, and thanks for the support. Appreciate it so much. It's been an amazing year uh, for the channel. Um, can't thank all the love that's been sent my way. I uh, appreciate it all. And uh, wish you guys all the best once we get past this this lull in the stocking, the port issues. I wish all you guys the best of finds. And if you're diving into customs, if you need help with anything, please reach out to anybody, including myself, um, that can help guide you. Um, it's a great hobby to get into. I know a lot of people are thinking about getting into it. Um, it's very fulfilling to be able to create something and watch it come to life uh, just as, as you want it to. Uh, so please, if you're thinking about getting into customizing, please reach out to anybody who's in this community that, that customizes. We'll be happy to help you. So with that being said, Merry Christmas. We'll see you next time.